Exodus 7.11 Vaikra gam paro lachachamim v'lamachachshafim v'yaasu gam heim chartu me mitzrayim v'lachatehem came. Now, in this context, Aaron has just thrown down his staff and it became a sea serpent. And we continue. And Pharaoh, well, I guess I should say here, even Pharaoh called to uh, the sages and to the sorcerers, and they, uh, even they, uh, that is, the wizards of Egypt, by their sorceries, they did thus. Notice here we have kind of a separation. They did thus with all of this um, intermediate speaking of the subject of the verb. Vaikra. Now we have all three root letters shown here. Kof, uh, Resh, Aleph, to call. And so this is a kal, vav, consecutive, imperfect, 3ms. The subject is spelled out, pharaoh, and he called. The only thing unusual here is because it's a final vav, notice that we have the um, comets because the vav, excuse me, the vav, a final aleph, the aleph has quiesced. Vaya'asu, we have two root letters showing here, ayin and sheen. What's missing is the hay from the end. And that's what happens is, in the case of a lamet hay verb, uh, when a suffix gets put on the end that begins with a vowel, it just knocks that hay right off. So uh, this is a kal, vav consecutive imperfect, 3mp. And they did uh, thus. That is, they is spelled out in some sp specifics, um, the uh, sorcerers and the sages, namely the wizards of Egypt. That's who the they is. So let's notice two things. Again, the verb, they did thus. So it's not spelled out what they did. It's just implied they did the same thing that Aaron did. Um, but what we have is the use of gom twice. So it's like even Pharaoh and even his wizards, they could do the same thing. 